Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to Crochet Podcast, episode 94. Can you believe 94 already? 94? That is six weeks to 100. I'm so excited. Anyway, thanks for inviting me over. My name is Krista, and that is my secret yarnery. This channel is all about crochet and crochet-related goodness. There's a tutorial every Sunday, a podcast every Saturday, live chat every Friday, class every Thursday. Fun, right? <laughs> I love it. So if any of that is of interest to you, consider hitting that subscribe button down below right now. I also want to say a big welcome and thank you to our new neighbors, friends, and family members. Thank you so much for joining the channel. There is a whole bunch of perks you get for joining the channel, including cool emojis. Family members have a WhatsApp group where we all kind of chat and hang out. We can share pictures and stuff. And friends get a monthly live chat just for friends and family. And family gets two live chats every month. Family members also get a 15 minute video call, like on WhatsApp or something like that. And that is a really great way for us to be able to like like get to know each other, like me get to know you, and you can show me your whips and we get caught up on stuff. So if any of that's of interest to you, there's a button right down there under the video, right where the subscribe button is, and you can kind of see those different membership perks and what level you'd like to join on. That was a lot, right? Sipping on my frugal frappe. It's a little bit hot in the yarnery today. It's hot in Kenya, I'm sure. If you don't know, I'm Canadian, but I moved to Nairobi, Kenya about 20 years ago. I love it here. So yeah, it's our summer and we're having one now. I'm happy. It is so good. So it's getting close to, I don't know, I'm gonna call that 81 or is it 28, 27, right? 27 degrees. It's pretty toasty in here. 27 and it's almost 81. Oh, lordy. Yeah, hence my natural glow. <laughs> it's just sweat. It's pretty toasty, but I'm not complaining. Our winter is gonna be here so soon and then I'm gonna be freezing. So just remind me of that really hot day when I was sitting here being toasty. Finished objects, I know I've showed this to you before, but this is the Speedy Granny Ruth Rainbow Scarf. So this tutorial, so proud, I have it filmed, edited, uploaded, left-handed, right-handed, and a written pattern complete with row by row breakdown of what color to use and all that, available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And the tutorial, left-handed, right-handed, is coming out tomorrow. So super excited about that. Look how cute that is. It'd be cuter if it wasn't 80 degrees in here. <laughs> but it's still so cute, right? Love it. And I also show you a really cool way of cutting your tassels so that they're nice and straight. So be sure to check that one out. Only other finished objects I have are those cool shamrock bookmarks. If you haven't seen those, I'll link them up in the cards as well as all over here. <laughs> they are so quick to make and all you need is a little scrap of green yarn. You don't need much at all. You can use really any hook size. You just make your tail the length you want to go through your book. So the shamrock is at the top of your pages and the little polka dot is at the bottom. And they are adorable and are really great gifts for teachers or coworkers for St. Patrick's Day. So there's lots of time to still get those done and I will link the video up in the cards as well as the pattern down below. And just a little heads up to all of my channel members, my friends and family. If you would like a shout out, let me know in the comments under this video and I will add you to the list for next week's shout outs. I know some people love a shout out and some people are like, oh, don't say my name. So if you are family or friends and you want a shout out, let me know in the comments down below. So what have I been working on? Something so fabulous. I love it so much. I frogged it so many times. Frog it means rip it, rip it. So that is removing your stitches and I have done it three times. But you know me, I'm right into frogging these days. I just want it to be perfect and I don't mind crocheting on it. I like the process of crocheting so I don't, I'm not totally stuck on the finished garment or the finished object like I used to be. Now I'm just kind of like, oh, I want it to be perfect. I'll do it again. No problem at all. So are you ready for it? Da, ba, ba, da, ba, ba. It's not done. It's my whip. Boom. How is that? Are you loving it? It's so cute. So it is a full on, full size wrap. 
Doesn't it look like, like sorbet? This is the Sunday granny stitch in a wrap. It's going to be a written pattern and tutorial, and it is just the right size. Let me hop up a smudge. It is just the right size for wearing. You know, you could really dress up a cute little Sunday dress or a summer dress or a tank top or like tank top and jeans. You know, something so cute. So it's nice and lacy. It would also be great in cotton yarn, but my winter's coming, so I'm like, come on. <laughs> and what I'm thinking of doing let me know your opinions or if you have any great ideas. On the bottom, I'm gonna do one little row of white just to kind of match the little stripe I put in the middle. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do for my border. Maybe like shells, maybe something, not tassely, like a real tassel, but maybe some crocheted kind of fringe. That's the word, fringe, right? Something maybe a little bit shaky to get some movement on the side. I don't know, something down there. And then what color am I gonna use? I wanted to use this neutral instead of this cantaloupe. It was gonna be like this. But this neutral color ended up looking so similar to the white, it just kinda looked like, it didn't look right. So I found, this is all favorite, and then I found this color here in Softly Baby. So I mixed them together and I think it looks like it's, it's a total ombre, isn't it? It's great. But now I don't know what to do with the border. If I put a row of white, I could use neutral as my fringe or I could use maybe the middle color for the fringe. I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear all about it. So I have one more row to crochet on this and then it is finished, except for, of course, the fringe. So that'll be a tutorial coming out when I get around to it. And it's also the same stitch as my Sunday Granny baby blanket, which is that pink blanket or the rose pink blanket on the back of my chair over there. That is also a tutorial coming out. So these two are coming out together. Well, within a couple weeks of each other, but they will be coming out. And that's really it for my crochet, crochet, crochet stuff. So just a quick question. Did you catch our organizational party? We have an organizational party or organizing party once a month, technically. So that is basically when I do something that I don't wanna do, like frog a super big project, which is rip it, rip it, remove your stitches, or go through my whips, which is work in progress, or my UFOs, unfinished objects. So I do something like that, and then you can either just hang out and enjoy not doing anything horrible, or you can do a horrible task with me, like something you're dreading to do. So that is the first Tuesday of every month, and we just did all of my whip baskets. It took two hours last Tuesday. Uh, I'll link that up in the cards. It was so fun, but what made it fun was hanging out with you, so that was like so spectacular. And if I wasn't hanging out with you, I would have gone to do something else. Do you know what I mean? It was, it's one of those things where you're like, I really should organize, I really should clean up, but you know, I'm not going to. So it was really great that you were there with me so that I had a very good reason to not just get up and go eat something in the kitchen. Do you know what I mean? So I got it all done, made a huge big mess, got all of my yarn restocked, got all of my UFOs put back. Yeah, that's a lot, right? So that's gonna be an upcoming Organize With Me party. I'm gonna be going through all of those UFOs, unfinished objects, and it was really fun going through the whips. We had a little contest of how many crochet hooks that you think I would have found, and that we did find eight. So there was four different people that said eight during the live chat. So those four people, if you are one of them, yes, it was you, Seta, and I wrote down the other three, and then I think I threw out the paper. So I have to go through again and write down the names again. <laughs> yeah, I did. So much, but yeah, that's how much cleaning I've been doing. Oof, oof. Anyway, I know there was four of you, so you can send me an email, krista at secretyarnery.com, and I will send you my latest crochet pattern. 
For the upcoming UFO party, unfinished objects organized with me party, we will also be looking for scissors and crochet hooks. I have seen two pairs of scissors or two, cr two crochet hooks. I don't know, I've seen two of something in there. So there's definitely gonna be some recon going on. So that'll be kind of a fun thing to keep track of for that uh, organized with me party if you're interested in that. And I also have a super big basket, okay, not that super big, but a pretty big basket of yarn to cake up from my whip baskets. They're too messy to go back into the appropriate areas, so they have to get caked up. So I might do a little cake with me party. <laughs> cake with me baby, cake with me baby, uh, on a Tuesday morning, either this coming Tuesday or the following Tuesday. So let me know if that would be of interest to you. And if you have any small little project you wanna work on with me during that time, it would be great. It won't be a two hour thing, less than an hour. I would think it's only a basket of yarn and I do have a really great yarn ball winder linked down below if you wanna check it out. It cakes up so fast, it's about 45 seconds for 100 grams, so I can't really imagine Imagine the caking party lasting too long with that stand wood just going woo woo the whole time. But that'll be really fun and I'm keeping that to do with you as well. So crochet classes, I started a new series, a new playlist building, I'm building a new playlist, started that in January and really enjoying it. So I knew one of those classes comes out every Thursday. Just wondering if any of it has been helpful to you and if you have any crochet questions or an idea for a class, you'd like an answer to something that would fit into a crochet class series, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to include it in the list. Now, part of my cleaning up, well, I did clean off my desk. Not that I can show you now because it is a hot mess stacked about yay high. So much for organizing. <laughs> it was great until my Amazon arrived and then poof, the whole world exploded in here. But while I was cleaning it up, I found a whole list of winners from previous podcasts. And I was like, podcast winners, what? I totally forgot, I think it was even before COVID and quarantine and all that, I used to have a question of the day and whoever answered it in the comments would win one of my crochet patterns. And I thought that is such a good thing to start again. I totally forgot about it. So we're gonna be starting that right now. So get ready, get your thinking caps on, get ready to answer this question in the comments down below. I will upload this URL of this video to a random comment picker before the next podcast. And then it will pick a random comment and I will select one that has answered this question and is a subscriber of the channel. So you have to be a subscriber and you have to answer the question and then you can win one of my patterns for free. I'll just email it to you. So ready for the question of the day? Do, 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 do. Thinking caps, we're all ready, right? What is your favorite thing to crochet for spring? Now I know it's not spring everywhere in the world. It's certainly not spring here, but what is your favorite thing to crochet for spring? When it's been cold, it's starting to warm up, what would you like to crochet or what is your go-to springtime crochet project? Let me know in the comments down below and good luck. I hope you win. So that's all I have for you this week. Thanks so much for inviting me over and hanging out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video. Stay hooked. I'd say I hope this recorded and all that, but it did it. This is the second time. This is my take two. My take two. Take two. Can you imagine? I'm like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, why are all the lights out? Batteries. That's why. Batteries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to just get over it and change batteries before I sit down again. You'd think I would know it by now. Didn't know it. Well, I knew it. Didn't do it. I knew it. Didn't do it. Uh, that should be a shirt. I knew it, but didn't do it. <laughs> That's going to be a shirt. Okay. <laughs> I better go. <laughs> Stay hooked. Okay, light is on. It better be. Hold on. Yep, light's on. We're, we're golden. We're golden.